Hello guys, in this video we'll learn how to add logging in Rust application. If you have worked in a production grade application, you must know the benefits of logging. While troubleshooting problems, bugs or even inspecting a behavior of a system, logs are super helpful. So in this video we'll consider this basic program where we'll try to add all the types of logs such as debug, info, uh, warnings and errors and try to understand how does logging work. So first of all, we need a couple of dependencies. So we'll move to our cargo terminal file and here we'll add environment logger with the latest version and we'll add log with the latest version. Now environment logger is a flexible logging implementation that can be configured via environment variables. It's often used for logging in Rust application where you need control uh, over formatting or log levels and different other things. Where log is a facade for logging libraries in Rust, allowing libraries to use logging without dictating which logging implementation the final application should use. So basically you can use environment logger or log for RS and different other uh, logging uh, type uh, crates with log. So let's get started and see where both are getting used. So here, what we'll do is we will first of all, say environment set variable for us log and debug so basically uh, debug is like lowest priority uh, like just b before trace and then uh, error is the highest priority so when you put let's say error here then it will only show error logs on your terminal or in inside your container as well but when you put one here then it will show one and above that which is error and then if you put info then it will show info warn and error but if you put debug then basically it will show debug info error and all the top of that so we'll just see with an example as well but first of all let's go ahead and try to add some logs so first of all we'll add a debug log now this thing that you see comes from the crate which is the log crate and here we will say environment logger dot init this thing comes from your uh, environment logger now here we'll say uh, checking credentials as the debug log and here uh, we want to inf add info so basically the info that we want to add or let's say add error here which is credentials are empty and here we want to add info it's an admin user and then here we want to add a warning saying username or password is invalid so we added this and let's open our terminal and see what happens so we run this application as you can see it prints a debug in a blue and a warning saying checking credentials and then it says username and password is invalid because username is user 123 password is password 123 but we are comparing against admin admin so let's see what happens if i put admin 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 and admin there you go as you can see it says checking credentials and then it says it's a admin user now lastly let's keep both empty so there you go it prints error saying credentials are empty now if you can see the color grading is there also to distinguish the logs when you are skimming over the logs so debug is blue mostly you don't want to print debug logs in production and then error info and warning so this is where the uh, setting up variable helps now let's say if I set it to error and let's see what happens as you can see it only shows me error logs now there might be a production environment where you only want to see error logs or you want to only see info logs uh, and above that so let's say what happens if I configure it to info and then run now as you can see it prints error okay let's see what happens if I do admin and admin does it print info log yes but it doesn't print debug that's what you want in your production so basically you can have a condition around this that if it's a production environment then use rust log as info but if it's a 
basically debug environment or it's a dev environment or QA environment, then you want to print debug logs as well. But if you put debug here, then basically it will print both. So that's where this variable helps you. And as I mentioned in the start, environment logger uh, is mostly controlled by environment variables. And this is how you can log in your Rust application. I hope you guys understand the concept and I'll catch you guys in the next video. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe to the channel.